What is up all my fellow Poke Freaks and Fanatics guys and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Poke Lab. It is your boy, your host, Nick at Nick. And guys, I have an awesome treat for you guys today. Um, I didn't have any cards to open. I don't know where I set all my cards at. I just can't figure out where I put them. But in the meantime, while I look for all my sealed product that I have, that I have stacks of it, dude, on shelves. Um, we're going to go ahead and go over my ammo that I use. No, I'm just kidding. It's an ammo case, but it is my graded Charizard collection. And then I got a couple more slabs over here. And uh, we're just going to go through them one by one and kind of do a collection update 2022. I haven't done one of these videos for a long time. And uh, I'm sure as your guys' collections are, mine is too. It's, it's ever so changing and uh, growing and um, switching stuff out. So I'd love to show you guys what I got. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it too. Let me flip you guys around. And we'll get into some Charizards real quick. Alright guys, and here we are. Boom, got the ammo case right there. And I actually think I'm going to take these out. Maybe stack them somewhere. Sorry, Lieutenant Serge, you're going to be covered up a little bit. One in stack. Let's see if I can get it all in one here. Alright, oh, I don't want to squish the booster packs up there. I guess we'll put one out. How about this? Boom. First edition base. Spanish. All right. So we got that stack right there. We got this little stack right here. And to get it going, let's start on a nice one. Um, you guys may have just seen this in a video. Boom. Got the PSA 9 first edition Blaine Charizard. Just recently graded this myself. Sent it in. I was uh, hoping for a 10, but it got the 9, which is, I mean, a... Ama an amazing grade for a card raw this age, you know, but um, I was really hoping for the 10 But either way anywho Let's we'll, we'll start out with that right there and we'll put this in the stand that I have um, And then we'll start going through this. All right So we got a dragon majesty charizard in a psa 9. All right We got the charizard and breaks in gx psa graded 10 baby graded this myself um I think in a bulk submission, pulled it myself, so that's cool. Maybe I'll make a stack of the 10s I got. Maybe we'll do that. Sure. Why not? All right, next, another Dragon Majesty PSA Gem Mint 10. So I graded, I don't know, I sent in four or five of these in a bulk submission. I got one, at least one back as a 10. So what do we got? Ooh, we got Stormfront Charizard. And I'm just going to grab the next one, another Stormfront Charizard. Uh, oh my gosh, look, I'm holding like it's a PSA slab. Oh my gosh, silly dumb dumb. <laughs> Alright, so I got, I paid like, I don't know, dude, like 60 bucks for the pair ungraded. Sent it into uh, to CGC on my 130 card submission or whatever. This one is first edition, and this one is not. But um, I want the card in English. I have a really beat up English copy, but I don't even know if PSA would grade it. It's that bad. Um... But I bought those with the hopes to grade it and then send it in, uh, get it graded, sell them, and see if that would allow me to have enough money to buy an English copy. So, still have to finish the experiment, the selling part. All right, we got a PSA 8, the Generate or Generations Radiant Collection. I love this Charizard. I have a handful of them raw, and I pick them up whenever I see them between 10 and 20 bucks. I try to pick them up. This is like one of my favorite Charizard cards, and I need to get it in 10. Uh, PS8 is the highest grade I have, unfortunately. But I love that card. I love it so much. We'll let it hang out in the the MVP section for a little bit. All right, Charizard X6, dude. I don't know what happened, man. Sent this in myself. Uh, hoping for a 10, got a six. So that's just like a throwaway right there. Picked this up on Mercari for like 80, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. PSA 9, Vivid Voltage pre-release Charizard. Um, I just bought this a couple months ago, finally. I wanted this card since it came out, but it was in the uh, building battle boxes, and they were getting expensive, dude. They hit like 200 bucks at one point. They, they're around 100 now, but to pay $100 to try to rip that card, I just bought the PSA 9 for less than a price of a building battle. So you can get the 10 for not even much more expensive, maybe double that. Oh, got the Gem Mint 10 Detective Pikachu Charizard. Sent a few of these in myself. Got at least one 10 as well. Um, Charizard GX, GMA, Gem Mint 10. Won this on an auction for 30 bucks. When it came in the mail, it was all cracked and crap right there, unfortunately. 
I got another one of these in a lot that wasn't cracked, but I ended up just selling it because I just liked uh, the cracked version more because I've held it so long. That's just a story. All right, I picked this up wrong again, but we have a uh, CGC9 Reverse Hollow Vivid Voltage Charizard. I really like this Zard. It's a fun one. Well, let me get some more light over here. Yeah, I like this Charizard. So we got the Reverse Hollow. We got, boom, we got the Japanese version. I got this from a kid. Dude, I keep doing it. Keep acting like the grade is over here like a PSA slab. But I got this from a kid, and uh, dude, he sold it for me for like 10 bucks when Vivid Voltage came out at a card shop and it looked really good i was hoping for a 10 got the 9.5 it'd probably go to a psa 10 i bet because the card is beautiful i don't even know why they wouldn't just help me out there and then i got a gma 8 yeah this was like i don't know it was thrown in for free and a little lot i bought so but if you look at them it's all the different uh ways you can get the card you know so that's pretty cool and then i, I have a couple of the cracked ice that i have to send one of those in to psa to get those graded i'm sure i got at least one that's a 10 boom 8.5 I bought this for like 50 bucks in an auction when Pokemon was in the hype. Because the card alone at the time was 50 bucks. So I was like, ah, whatever, dude. I'll just take it in the slab for the same price, you know. But it's heavily off-center, dude. So it wouldn't grade much better. PSA, I'm sure. But I love the card either way. I just, that's just a card I wanted to have multiple copies of. Got a bunch raw, got a bunch uh, graded. And I'll also go make another video going through my um, ungraded Charizard collection. Because it's pretty much just as impressive and just ungraded um so we have a cgc9 what is this hidden fate charizard you know must have but probably must have in a 10 and not a cgc9 psa 10 got a 9 on this was hoping for a 10 all these cgc cards that i sent to myself i was hoping for a 10 i got beat up i sent in like 130 cards i did not get a single 10 i got like 20 something nine fives you know but not a single 10 but this card, dude, I love this card. Just the artwork on it is beautiful. Full art textured. It was a promo in like a $50 box. Kind of when I first started collecting is when, uh, or uh, maybe not, dude. It's maybe it was after, but either way, this box is pretty old. Wonderful, beautiful card, though. Another one I want to pull out and grade is, uh, I got two of these boxes for that, for that reason, is, uh, one of these things. I don't know if you ever guys have ever seen these, but look at that card in there you can lift up the flap but even that charizard's sick too dude so that's another one i want to grade right there that charizard rest you have two boxes but it's like a hundred dollar box so it's kind of hard to crack just to get the cards so maybe i'll just buy one raw or something all right so we have a lance charizard v uh gma9 i got it on mercari for like uh uh 20 bucks or something i just like the card i like the card itself want it encapsulated and until I grade my own. Alright, we got 9.5. Got this for my buddy Matt from Married and Gaming. For like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. He graded it out. Probably be a PSA 10 or whatever. But uh, I didn't have it. And it was only 20 bucks. And I have a Charizard collection. So, there we go. Alright, Dragon Majesty Charizard. Gem Mint 9. Another Gem Mint 9. Dragon Majesty Charizard. All right, let's go to one of the hitters here. All right, so we got a uh, base set two. Ready, steady, Teddy Spaghetti. Boom. G PSA 9, baby. PSA 9, base set two Charizard. Picked this up on eBay myself. Um, picked it up on eBay myself for like 100, 120 bucks right when I got back into the hobby. Held on to it for a while because I remember when I got it, I didn't have that many impressive cards. This is like the best I had, and I didn't want to send it away for a long time, so I held on to it for a while, but eventually sent it in and got a 9. I think it also had potential for a 10, but what are you going to do? Got the 9, but I love this card. All right, Generation Charizard, love you, but uh, you're going to go over there for now. We'll put up the base set, too. A Hidden Fates, Gem Mint 9. Great at myself. Was hoping for a 10. Hoping for a 10. And got 110, thank goodness. So, at least I completed the, the mission. So, the 9s, I don't know. Got to sell, I guess. But, dude, I can't... It's, to me, if the Charizard... If it's going to sell for, like, 20, 30 bucks, just the slab, I'd rather just hold on to it. Like, it's worth more to me than that. You know, I graded it myself, whatever. Yeah, I'd make 20 bucks, maybe, or something. But I'd rather just hold on to it. So, I graded uh, two of these bad boys, and... Boom! 
Got two nines. Couldn't snag the ten. This is from the collector's chest. The Mewtwo's collector's chest. Um, I got one behind me. Right, can you see it right there above my finger? It's from that chest. All right. So, yeah, got those two nines. Unfortunately, oh, wait. Crap, I'm putting the tens in this stack. I'm wanting to make its own stack. See how many I got. Probably already messed it up. Gem at nine to Detective Pikachu. Like I said, I sent in like five of them to try to get the ten. Boom, got another ten. So I think that must be two of them that I got. Uh, yep. See, so I got a pair of tens of that card. And then got a Evolutions Charizard. Mint nine. To go with a Evolutions Charizard. Mint nine. <laughs> to go with a Evolutions Charizard. Mint nine. <laughs> all right i'll stop messing with you guys because we got the evolution charizard and of course we got the mint nine <laughs> ha 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 all right here's the last one dude the mint nine <laughs> so so far we've got one two three four five charizard brothers all in numerical order all in sequential order Five Evolutions Charizards, Mint 9. To go with the Gem Mint 10, baby! Got the one Evolutions Gem Mint 10. I was able to snag one of them. Yes, I was, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I was. Alright, so let's see. What do we got here? Dark Charizard. Boom. PSA 9. Uh, bought this not too, I think around the same time as the base set 2 Charizard. Also bought this off eBay for like 100 130 because I believed in the condition of the card. And was able to snag it, uh, snag the 9. So 120 bucks or so for each of those cards and they're both PSA 9s. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, my shiny Charizard GX. So when I first started doing YouTube, I had a little series I was doing. It was called the shiny the chat the sh <laughs> the hidden fates the brought to you by hidden fates shiny charizard chase card challenge all right that was a video series i had and i was like five videos in and i pulled the bad boy finally graded myself and i got a nine so this is one that'll never go anywhere because this was such a hunt to get and i probably got the nine because of the centering As you can see it's pretty off center unfortunately but this will never go anywhere dude this is this is near and dear to my heart i love this card I even bought my buddy for Matt's Married and, married and Gaming because he pulled two out of three ETBs that he opened in one sitting. And I got one off him. And I offloaded that one, but kept mine. Even if the other one was a better grade, I could never get rid of it. Sorry, Blaine's first ed. All right, so I'll put that there. That's a crowd favorite right there, fan favorite. Then we got the base set Zard in A2. So I have a thing for uh, base set Charizards in all condition. I actually have one in a picture frame right by my front door when you walk in my house. Similar condition. Um, I think the other one was bent in four. Well, this one I think was bent in four too. Yeah, you can see the cross on it. But I was picking them up even in the hype for like a hundred bucks, man. And, and <laughs> now I don't know. I have a little handful of them in all conditions too. I have better condition ones. I have one that I'm gonna send in that I'm hoping to get a like a PSA nine, eight nine something like that. So. Um, this one is just, I don't know, just in the collection and, and, and I like looking at them and just thinking about the times when we used to just throw these in a book bag, throw them in a folder, throw them on the concrete, you know what I mean? Throw them right in your pocket, no card savers, we didn't have that noise, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I like, uh, Charizards in condition like this. It's just, I don't know, it's like, a just does something for me. All right, and then we have a Pokemon XY Charizard. EX from it's a promo GMA Mint 9. This I just got in a big lot actually. Um, I got this ba this booster pack, the first edition Spanish base, and 10 slabs for like 300 bucks, guys. And this was one of them. Um, there was some other slab too that was in there that was part of the deal, but it was like 10 slabs, nothing too crazy or anything, but. All right, guys, so here is the last card. So not only in this, and I sent these all in the same submission. I sent the five, these five. I had another one that I got a PSA 8 that I actually, I think, sold to uh, our boy Danny Phantom. 
and got the 110 and th the, all of those are in sequential order and then lastly I sent in uh, two of these ones one of them got a PSA 6 they're gonna grade out about the same so one got the 6 and then this one got the PSA the gem mint 10 baby evolutions pre-release Zard look at that bad boy so sexy with the evolution stamp right there and when you're just looking at that dude you know exactly what set it's from you know it's a reprint but it's shout out to evolutions you know shout out to the, the 20th anniversary and it also goes with my regular evolutions gem mint 10 and as you can see these are in sequential order 35 and 36 the charizard brothers so there we go ladies and gentlemen we got those guys right there we got the we got the blaine's charizard first edition uh what else we got here we got uh some of my other favorite ones the dark charizard the base set two uh psa nines so there's some of my heavy hitters right there boom 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 some of my favorite cards that I have, some of my favorite cards that I own. And some of these cards go for big money. I've turned down a $4,000 offer for this recently. Um, you know, the regular Evolution Zard was at 5 k dude, but they're down to 2000 sometimes even less. But, dude, I, for the what I went through to grade these, I'm just going to hold on to them. Population report still states, dude. This one, I haven't checked it in a while, but it was at a pop like 74 this is at a probably pop 300 now, who knows, but I'm sure the percent the percentage of like, you know, this versus nines is still so low that I just believe in the card's longevity and it's fine, dude. I graded it. I didn't pay, you know, the 2000 for it and 4000, so I can just hold on to them and just know I have them, you know. Plus all my other graded slabs, my new Blaine's Charizard recently added to the collection. Um yeah, this is a very fun video. I've been looking forward to doing this. Um, you know, it's not to, like, it, I just want to show people the collection, man. And, and I love to hear in the comment section, you know, what your guys' collections have. What you guys, which in your guys' collections, do you guys have any of these cards? Let me know. I'd love to know. And then also, we're on the road to 1K any day. So please subscribe to your boy. I sincerely appreciate it, man. We're getting there. Um, but again, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is Nick and Nick signing out. Peace. No, oh, those can take you out, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My babies. Look at the cinematography. All right. Uh, for real, guys. Later. Love you. Peace.